Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the One Hand Mechanic, if I can do it, you can too. Working on a Craftsman Z5200, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the mower dagger, but I want to show you the tools that we need today. I'm going to use an electric ratchet with a 3-8 socket. Now that's safe to take the covers off the mower deck. You can use a quarter, you know, whatever you have, you know, you need a 3-8 socket. I'm going to use an adjustable wrench. I haven't owned an adjustable wrench for a long time, but this seemed to work okay. Adjustable wrench or a pair of vice grips is what's recommended for what I'm going to do. And then, like I said, if you guys have any maybe tips on maybe making it a little bit easier, but to get the motor deck belt off, it's a little tricky. Pair of needle nose pliers, and I'm going to use a long pry bar to help me with the motor deck itself. Now, I'm going to show you how to take this off, and I'm also going to show you how to put it back on. The first thing we want to do is... If you can do this on asphalt or concrete, it would be better just to slide it out. And we're gonna go ahead and put the motor deck all the way in down position as far as it'll go. Now this one stops like right about here, okay, which to me is a little bit on the high side for hitting all the way down at the ground. So you wanna just keep going all the way down to one. So you wanna make sure the handle is all the way down. This handle is spring loaded and we wanna to try to get all the tension off of the motor deck. So now we're gonna go down and we're gonna take off the belt first. So we're gonna, I'm gonna have to try to take off this cover here. I'm not gonna try, we're gonna do it. So it's a 3 8 3 8 socket. Just be careful you don't lose your bolts. Take the cover off. Okay, so now we have to take the belt off. Now there's a lot of tension. This is a newer style machine. And they have gone. They have gone to a pretty beefy, heavy-duty spring over yonder here. Okay. Now, what I always do is I'll pull on the mower deck belt itself to find out where my arm is actually moving. The tension is just by spring tension. That's all it is. And I know a lot of people will try to pull this belt around this pulley and take it off. I don't want to show you that because you can really pinch your fingers if you're not careful. So what I figured out. A couple of things I figured out is that if you put a wrench on this nut and you want to pull this back to make it loose, you're actually loosening up this nut so it actually will loosen and then you'll lose grip and then you got to retighten everything up. So that didn't work. Then I was looking for on the bracket, I was looking for a, a hole where you can put a extension, like a 3 extension to help you with a ratchet and I didn't find anything on that bracket. The other way I thought is maybe taking the other cover off, going over to this spring and using a large uh, spring puller that I have a handle to uh, help to do that. And this spring is so taut, there's so much tension on that that I didn't want to do that because I didn't want anybody getting hurt there. <laughs> so it's it's been a little trying to try to figure this out. So what I came up with is if you put an adjustable wrench, open it up to the size of this bracket. This bracket is a pretty beefy bracket. Now it's a it's still a little sketchy as far as what you want to do is pull towards you and just be careful. A pair of vice grips may grab a little bit better, but it's, it makes it easy to pull it towards you. And then even me being the one-handed mechanic here, I'm just gonna use my arm and I'm just gonna gently take that off, just like that. Now here's where you have to be careful. Don't let this just go. This goes back all the way, like so. And then you take it off. Now putting it back on, being that this will be way out here like this, it's a little tricky. So when we put it on, I'm gonna to try to go this way with it. And I'm gonna pull it this way. And we'll see how that works. But this is taking it off. So now the belt tension is off. Okay, and you have to go back to your engine and take it down off the engine pulley. Just kneel down and you can see right here, it's on the back of the engine pulley. You just wanna drop it down off of that and it's just gonna sit on this bar here and then we can pull it out from there. Now we're going to go back around to the front, and I'm going to take off the front mower deck hanger first, and that would be this guy right here. Okay, so this is just a pin, so you want to try to hold the one side with your hand, and then just, you can unclip this. You can use a pair of pliers. Now, as you can see, it's spinning, because I need to hold that. It's a little tricky to hold that. You could lift up the mower deck and put tension on it to take this off and then come back around and take it off. But I'm just gonna fight it here. We'll get this off and then that should just fall right out. Now this can come out the front 
And like I've said before about if take, taking this bar off, if you're gonna drive around on this, then take the bar out so you don't jackknife that bar. The bar comes right out, it's real easy. So now we're back to the back brackets here. And that would be this here. Okay, and now I can feel tension on this and the mower deck is all the way down. So now that I know there's tension on this, what I wanna do is relieve the tension from this, this guy here, but I wanna take the pin off first. So we'll use a pair of pliers, a pair of lean nose, and we're just gonna flip that out. Now, this won't come out because the tension on, on the uh, deck is. So we're gonna use a pry bar. To make this easy, just put a bar underneath the mower deck and then just lift up on it. And then that'll take the tension off. Okay. And it's still got a little bit of tension, but it's not bad. And then carefully let that deck down. I'm gonna go around to the other side. And the same thing, I can feel tension on this side. So I'm gonna pull the pin off and then I'm gonna lift up the mower deck. And now you, you might have to manipulate the mower deck a little bit to get it to where this bracket here, it's got two points that hold it. So if the deck moves this way or this way, it gets kind of tight, but I got the, got it out. Then you wanna just put your mower deck all the way up as high as it'll go. All right, so what that does is it gets these brackets out of the way. And you can see these brackets must go back down over here. So this bracket here will slide right down through here. And you're gonna put your pin in. And now we can go ahead and take the mower deck out. I always like to try to pull the mower deck out shoot side first. It's just my preference. Don't forget to take your belt off the back pulley. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We take the mower deck off and now since I'm gonna just put it back on since a lot of people ask me, you know, how do you put the mower deck back on? So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, you may need to take this cover off because the, the reason being, if you, don't, if you don't get this belt on this pulley, if it doesn't stay on the pulley as you're pulling the belt around, you may uh, ruin your belt when you turn the mower deck on. And remember that this tension on this bracket, there's a lot of tension on the spring, so you'll, you'll be able to tell most likely if you're on the, it correctly, but always double check in here, looking through one side of your mower and then the other side to make sure that your, your belt is on. And always remember, the V of the V of the belt goes in the V of the pulley. The flat side of the belt goes on flat side of the pulley. As long as you don't mess around too much with this, it depends on what you're doing. If you sharpen your blades, you can turn the mower deck over. Um, the nice thing about this is they also have a diagram on here okay and it shows you kind of it shows you how it's how it's set up so you should be able to get that back or you just take a picture of it before you take it all apart so you have a visual of it when you put it back together again all right so we're going to slide this back under and what you want to do is you want to get the mower deck lined up in the back here where these brackets are so you want to get you want to kind of get this bracket here lined up with this bracket here. And then you're gonna go to the other side and check to see how close you're on that side. And we're a little bit off here, so we're gonna try to pull this over a little bit. And then when I get close here, I'm gonna go ahead and put the arm down. Your height adjustment lever goes all the way down. And then it's gonna slide in here. And what I'm gonna do is since we're on this side, it doesn't matter what side you're on, I'm gonna get my hardware to pin and we're gonna have to lift this up again. I'm gonna lift this up, and you might you have to manipulate the, the mower deck a little bit. Go through the back side to the front, like so, and then put your clip in. And with these, I always say to put them in a certain direction. Well, it doesn't really matter because these these will be swiveling. You'd like to have these pins facing rearward because we do 90% of the machine cutting grass is forward. So these tend to not pop out if you have them facing this way. But butterfly clips that they make, these are really nice clips. I like them a lot. Let's go to the other side. Okay, so this one's actually, this was hanging up a little bit up here. So you have to pull that down. So I, I didn't realize that. All right, so just gonna make sure pull it down and then I'm going to manipulate the deck a little bit. I'm going to pull it up. Now I can see how the holes aren't even close. So you're going to have to pull the mower deck back a little bit like that. Put your pin through. As I'm holding 
the pry bar up, holding the deck up with the pry bar. And I'm just trying to get it now. It looks like I'm having a problem with the deck adjuster. This is your left and left side and right side deck adjuster. This is on the right side. I was having a problem getting the pin through here. You see the adjusting screw right here? So when I was pushing it through, this pin was hanging up on its adjusting screw. So I had to lift up the motor deck even higher to get this pin to come through. So that may be you know, an issue for anybody doing this. You just gotta make sure that you have the deck high enough to get past this adjuster. You can always unadjust your mower deck, but then you're gonna have to readjust it again by deck leveling it. So we're just gonna leave that alone right there. We're gonna put, put the pin in. And sometimes you have to push the, make sure that pin's all the way out. Now I'm gonna go to the front, and we're gonna go ahead and put the front in. We can slide this through here like so. This one goes in the front, like that. And you basically just have to line up the holes and put the pin in. Now while, while I'm on this side, I'm just gonna make sure that my belt is in my pulley over here that's under the cover. I may have to take this cover off, but right now it's in it's in the V part of the pulley. I'm gonna go around to the back of the tractor and put the belt on the back pulley. And you do have to kind of crawl under because you have to make sure that you come up above this bar. Do not, do not, whatever you do, don't put it under the bar because one, the tension will be ridiculous and it'll ruin the belt if it's riding underneath there anyway. So you just want it above this bar, put it around the pulley. And we're gonna go around to the other side here where I took it off. Now I know as a fact that it's on over there and you can use a flashlight to see. And you'll see over there now. This is where I'm at with this belt. I still have a good four inch, I have good three inches right here. I just put it over this nut for a little tension just to make sure that everything's good. And what I'm gonna attempt to do here is I'm gonna use my adjustable wrench. I'm gonna tighten it to that brackets up there, up there. It's a very heavy duty bracket. And then I'm gonna push this back to loosen the pressure on it. And then very gently put the belt on like that, let go. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. So that actually went on very nicely. And I just know that if this spring comes off right here, and I think I said in the beginning of the video, that spring's kind of a pain to get back on that hook. So be careful when you take your mower deck off, your mower deck belt off, just make sure it doesn't spring and go all over the place. Definitely fix that while your mower deck's off if the spring is off of that hook there. So it makes it real easy. So at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and button it up, put the cover on, and there's different holes on the mower deck, all right? You have all these different holes. You just try to make sure you get them in the right ones and line them up. Pretty sure this only goes on one way. I don't think if you put it on a different way, I don't think it's gonna fit properly near the belt. And just Do not tighten these too tight because you can break the plastic, okay? Even though I'm using an electric ratchet, it's only a quarter, it's only a quarter inch electric ratchet and there's not, a lot, there's not a lot of power to that. So that's perfect. You just want to snug them up. You don't want to have them too fast. So that pretty much sums it up for how to take off and put on the mower deck on a Craftsman Z5200 with a 42 inch mower deck. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Tell your friends and family about my channel. I do appreciate everybody watching. I will catch you on the next one.